Mary, you're the co-founder of the School of Biomedical Diagnostics at Arizona State University. Why don't you tell us about how that came about and what schools like Arizona State University are doing with diagnostics? Well, the number one challenge we have is not enough education. Not enough in medical schools, not enough in laboratory technician programs, not enough in any part of the continuum. It is critical that we do a better job understanding and educating the healthcare environment as to the fundamentals of diagnostics and diagnosis. In order to fill that void, I am very proud to say I was a critical part in starting a school of biomedical diagnostics. I got tired, as I know you have, in being an asterisk on somebody else's science, in being a piece of the last day of a course on drug development, being a piece of the last day uh, of a course on technology. We're a science in and of ourselves. And this school at Arizona State University, today it is a master's program, soon it will be a PhD and undergraduate program, focuses specifically on the science of diagnostics, the technology of diagnostics, the business and the application. I see a day where we have a cadre of executives that have been schooled specifically in diagnostics, understand the power and the limitations of what our industry can do. We've started at Arizona State and we hope to seed our program throughout medical schools and other parts of universities in the future. I'm, I'm curious, is there anything in particular you're doing to attract these students to this this program? Well, happily, we've done virtually no advertising, and we had more than 50 students in year two, and we'll have close to 100 students in year three with no advertising. That being said, it is critical that all companies in the healthcare industry understand the importance of this sort of education, and we'll do it three ways. One, for students directly in the school. Two, executive education from the professors in the diagnostic school will go out and have started to go out to companies and educate them. And third, in a very similar way as the Kennedy School has done at Harvard in public policy, we will be working directly with patient associations, industry associations, and government to help educate them on diagnostics, the importance, and the key tools today. And we'll be learning from them so the school will be a continuing process of give and take to add to the foundation of what diagnostics is.